Okay, guys. I got it rolled out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in. And just like you would if it was a pie shell with crust, with flour. Okay, you're going to come in and you're going to bring it down about halfway, okay? Because you don't want the seam right where the pie is going to be, you know, or filling, if you will. You don't want that. So I'm going to get this all against, okay? Then I'm going to take this piece, and you would do the very same thing, whether this was salt dough, which you've seen me do. I mean, I've done many videos with that. Or clay, whatever. Okay. This wouldn't be anything out of the norm for me. I'll fix that in a minute. You don't have to worry because you can add more clay, right? You'll come in and fix that. That stuff doesn't bother me. Okay, so now I have the filling and the crust. And like I've told you before, I am not a baker by any stretch. I'm a cook, I'm not a baker. But this is going to be fine. This represents a lemon pie. And then this one, I'm going to show you that you don't have to put the clay. When you're doing something like this where there's going to be nothing but whipped cream, a.k.a. lightweight spackle, then they're not going to know what's under here, okay? No one's going to have a clue. What's going to let you know what it is is whatever you put on the top of this, okay? So I'm going to do one with the air dry clay like I did this big pie, okay? And the other one, I'm not going to put the air dry clay other than the crust around it. So I'm going to go ahead, get those crusts around, and I'll be back. Well, I'll tell you what. I was very disappointed in the air dry clay. We're up in the craft room now. It cracked. Can you see this? It cracked. I just took it all off and I'm going to redo the crust with the Model Magic. I will never use air dried clay for anything like this again. I doubt I'll use air dried clay for much, to be honest. You can see I took it off of this one. I did leave it on this one. I think I'll be able to salvage this one, but that's it. I will never use it again. So. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in with the Model Magic. I'm going to condition it straight out of the bag. You don't want it like that. You want it to where it's very pliable. It takes just a couple minutes to do that. Okay. You want to see it doing more of this, where you can stretch it like you would taffy. Now is I'm just going to go ahead and keep conditioning it, and then we'll roll it out and cut it and make our... Can I tell you, Model Magic is the way to go. Definitely, 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 definitely. I almost feel like I, well, it would take so much, though. I think I'll just put this back on it 
and use this. Yeah, I don't want to waste all the Model Magic. But I will say, if you're going to make faux pies, use the Model Magic salt dough. Whatever, you know. But don't use the air dry clay. My opinion. Uh-uh. Want to see a piece of it? Here's the piece that came off of it. Look at it. It was, cr it was awful. Awful. So, now I want to do the other little pie. And I'll transfer it to another pie tin after I'm done. But it's up here and I'm not going to go downstairs. Okay. And I'm just going to, again, condition this a little bit. I think while I have this little extra out, I'm going to make a couple faux lemon, not slices, but actual, you know, little lemons, tiny lemons. So I'm just going to roll it up, and then on one side, I could get out my molds, which I really should do because I have a leaf mold. Okay, so I'm making a little bit bigger lemons. I want to do one that's the size of that, but lemons, the shape of them, I was looking uh, online and just regular lemons and a lot of them have the little uh i don't know what you want to call it but on the ends of them on both ends and i started to try to smooth out the skin and i thought why the heck are you doing that because on a lemon a lot of times the skin isn't smooth it's got a texture and here's another one and if you wanted to even add more texture, you could take like a terry cloth towel and just very lightly get the indentations of the towel. There you go. Can you see that? Because that's what a lemon looks like. It doesn't have real smooth skin all the time, right? I mean, they're all different. I think the Meyer lemons are more smooth. So I just want to give this a little texture. Look at that. I like that a lot. But you got to do it as soon as you're done. Don't wait until it starts to dry. Okay, I want to get one. And then I did one like this with just a little point at the end. So they can all be different. Okay, so I'm going to show you one. Got to condition this. This clay is kind of old. I've had it for over a year and it's been opened. I mean, I've had it shut with tape and stuff, but I can tell the difference that it's getting old, so that's why I'm using it up to make lemons. Okay, and I just roll it into a ball. Oh, that was almost the perfect lemon, just that way I paint on my hand. And then I elongate it just a little bit, and then I come in just with my fingers and pull out the point a little bit. And none of them have to be the same. No fruit is exactly the same, is it? I'm going to take the towel. I really like this situation with this terry cloth. I like the way it gives it texture. Look at that. I love the texture of it. Alright, so when I get these done, I'll come back and we'll make some more leaves because we're going to need them. This is the story of my life. I thought I was making lemons for my lemon pie and cake for my faux food. I ended up getting out my, my molds and now I'm doing molds. So this video is going to be about what I'm making with molds. <laughs> 
So I have a cinnamon uh, bun here. And here are some um, of the, not stamens, but the things that you put on top of like the um, the leaves, whatever you, I, I can't remember the name of it, for, of strawberries and different fruits. And then I made some leaves with this little cutter, which are here. And now I'm going to make, I, I, I do this all the time, guys. I get so sidetracked. I'm going to take this bunt silicone mold and put some clay into these. I think these will be cute little bunt cakes for faux food. So as soon as I start doing that, I'll be back. I also have a cherry mold. And this one, believe it or not, are strawberries. So I'll be back. Okay. So I popped these in the freezer, just took them out, and let's see how they turned out. And this is with the Model Magic Clay, okay? You always get nervous when you're popping them out, thinking, is it going to work? It sure did. Here's our little cinnamon roll. Okay, let's do these. This is the top for the uh, strawberry little flowers, little, these are little raspberries, tiny little raspberries. <clears throat> Here's a tinier one. Yep, they all came out good. I'll have to put the strawberries in now. I only had room for so many. But I got from Amazon. This one, this one I think was from Etsy. This one was from Amazon. This one was from Hobby Lobby. Let's see how our little bunts came out. Perfecto Mundo. Perfecto Mundo. And they're very lightweight. They're not heavy like Plaster of Paris or our beloved air dry clay that I am so over. <laughs> Perfect. So putting them in the freezer, you can get them right out. Look at this one. How pretty. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to put the rest, the strawberries. I think that's all I have is strawberries left. But I just wanted you to see that they all came out perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so I have the crust done, and that was with the ivory and the raw sienna. And then once I put down the yellow, I'll seal all of this with a satin. Not a gloss, but a satin. I may put a gloss on the part of the yellow that'll be showing, because lemon pie does look glossy, but the crust, I'm going to use a satin. And then here is the other one. And I'll get new tins for these. Okay, so there's the crust. Okay, now I'm going to paint this big pie, okay? And I've got some of the lemons. I want to do a few more of these lemons. They turned out really cute. And some leaves. Isn't that cute? I need to do a few more because I'm going to put these on a cake I'm making. So I need at least six. So three more. Here's the leaves. Put those to the side. And then I, I made a couple half. These aren't great. It's no great shape, but colors. I don't know why this one is so thick. Almost look the same, but they're not. This is a bit brighter. I think I'm going to go with this one. And 
And this clay really sucks in the paint, just like Plaster of Paris does. Putting some water. I love lemon. I love lemon theme, and I think I know what I'm going to do with the wreath that I'm going to put over my fireplace. I want it to be a lemon and honeybee theme. And while I have enough of this yellow out, Much better, much better. I mean, no, no comparison. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the top coat. This is a real, like a high gloss acrylic. And I'm going to put that on the lemon part. Not, not the uh, crust. Because like I said, when I make my lemon pies, they are glossy looking. Okay. And again, this is the air dry clay. I would never use it again for something like this. I really would use Plaster of Paris or Model Magic. That air dry clay, ugh, that was a nightmare. The way it cracked, it was awful. Okay, so I'm going to let those sit. Take that out. And what I'm going to use for the crust is the Mod Podge mat. these okay so now I'm just gonna put on the whipped cream and this Lightweight spackle has been in this bag for a while and it's starting to get harder to work with. So I'm glad I'm using it up now. It's been a couple weeks. So you're going to want to use it, you know, within that amount of time. See how it's sticking? I'm really having to push hard. That's okay. That's all right. It's all gonna work. Now, if this was with plaster or parachute, I wouldn't have to go around the edges, but since it was that air dried clay, it was cracking, and you don't wanna see that, right? I want it to be the same all the way around. Okay, now. I'm just going to go in the middle a little bit. I think I'll have enough for our little tarts that we made.
Okay, let me go get, use one of these, don't we? I wish I could have these. There's our lemon. Hi guys. Let's do our tarts now. Okay. I hope I'm going to have enough, you guys. So I'm going to concentrate on this one right now. See, i got to go around because you know why. If it was all flush, you wouldn't have to unless you wanted to, right? Then I'm going to put these in new tins. Put these inside of a new tin. I can't hold it and do it. Can you see? Yeah. Again, I don't want to cover this one all the way up because you want to know it's lemon, right? Okay, now let's take one of our lemons that we made out of the Model Magic Clay. cute. How cute is that? I want a little of that lemon showing. One little of that lemon showing. I'm just going to leave that one the way it is and then I'll change out the little pans. So for the tarts, you have this and this. And since I have more of this, Glad I used this now, you guys. It was starting to get, it wasn't dried, but it was getting much, uh, not as creamy, which in turn means you can't squeeze it out as easy. Take the rest. And I have to squeeze it in because it 
it's almost gone. I just don't want it to go to waste. That's why I'm doing this. Lightweight spackle is not cheap. Get a little bit more and I just have a little tiny peak of the yellow and that's why I painted it. So you'd know, oh yeah, okay, it's lemon. Oh yeah, that's what she's making. Now we gotta make a lemon cake. Here's our lemon pie and our tarts. I think they turned out. Guys, until we get together again, remember the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. Only one you and you bring something to this world nobody else can. I'll talk to you soon, bye.